Well, it's used for a number of things. One is for pre-training, and that's before they go out onto the track and start their galloping work. It's also used for recovery after racing or after uh, track work. And it's also uh, used for uh, remedial tra uh, treatment, uh, such as you know sore joints and sore muscles and that sort of thing. And uh, and also, it's an alternative training uh, for them if they don't want to do a workout on the track. They bring them in here. Um, the secret to getting up early is going to bed early. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it, unfortunately it does kill your social life a little bit, but it, it's a way of life. It is absolutely and completely a way of life. When my alarm goes off at 3.30 in the morning, yes, it's very, very hard, but I love my job. It's, it's what gets me out of bed six days a week. But even on the ground here, just their back legs, you know, if you're just even oiling their back feet, they can pick a head off. I had it in the eye one day, just horses lifted its leg. Black eye, <laughs> um, lots of things can happen. Yeah, I was uh, galloping a horse for someone else and it spun around and threw me on the rail and I broke my T11 vertebrae. So it was quite scary. I was in hospital, I had to have surgery and I've still got all titanium rods in my back now. I've got a great big scar and that sort of stuff. So you have to love it to come back to it after that. Horse that you became quite good yeah, friends with? Yeah, the little one I had my first ride oh, on. Oh yeah, tell us about that first ride. He was uh, a full brother to Comic Court. The only thing I was disappointed was, and it still brings tears to my eyes, when I think about him. But I never won a race on him. And the last ride I had, I was in front, 100 metres from home, I thought, I'm finally going to win on it, and he broke his leg. <laughs> and it still upsets me. I, I was standing there, holding him, waiting for the vets to come, past the winning post. I run, still run forth with a broken leg, you know. And he stopped. And when I got off, he, he just went a roll of a finger. I was about to say, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know? I've got room for nine um, and that's as many as I want because I do actually I have another job I work part-time as well um, you more do it because of because you love the horses and you and you love racing and it's more of a passion so um, it's great when they win but they don't don't win all the time <laughs> kiss, kiss. <laughs> Uh, some of them I ride every day, so they sort of become like my horses and I get really attached to them, and others I really don't like. <laughs> is just don't like people, don't like anything, don't like being touched, they just want, want to be out the paddock and be left alone and others are just like this little horse in here will stand there and cuddle you all day long. She's just a really, really people horse but it, it just depends. Some of them start off nice and then they, they get grumpy being in here and that sort of stuff but it, it depend, depends on the horse. Every horse is different, some hands are different to others. Last one is Spur Civic and will be set for a start. Just about ready in the Sangster. And Black Caviar is going to lead early from Spur Civic and Just Sibyl is up there from Tabulated. The anticipation is starting to build. Black Caviar goes up and hits the lead. On the outside, Power Princess is trying to match her at the 250. Nolan's got a stranglehold on Black Caviar. She looks at the 30,000 strong crowd and says, geez, I'm good. No, I'm not good. I'm the best you've ever seen in the world.